Let me tell you something. Methane is awesome. It's 100% organic and 100% natural. Methane comes from life and is part of the circle of life on Earth. It is abundant and can be transported anywhere on the planet. It's the cleanest, best, purest natural fuel on Earth. It can reliably produce energy 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But the best part is that when combusted, it releases huge amounts of energy and produces the basic building blocks of plant life, completing the cycle of life. People often say that methane is a non-renewable energy source. That simply is not true. Methane is a completely renewable energy source on timescales ranging from a few hours to millions of years. So where does methane come from? Well, the short answer is it comes from plants and animals and it is the result of natural decay of organic matter. But when you dig into it a bit deeper, it gets way more awesome. You see, plants and algae need CO2 water, the sun, and key nutrients and enzymes to grow and survive. Using the energy of the sun, plants use the miracle of photosynthesis to turn CO2 and H2O into sugar and oxygen. Many plants also biosynthesize organic polymers such as cellulose and lignin. When plants die, the sugar and cellulose they contain can be broken down and turned into methane in a couple ways. First, directly and without extensive heating by the biologic decomposition of organic matter. Methane created this way is made by bacteria called methanogens. Methanogens exist wherever there is organic matter and no oxygen. Places like swamps, landfills, bedrock, soils, deep water, and the digestive systems of animals and so forth. The second way is by transforming organic ma matter found deep underground through organic and geologic conditions of pressure and heat taking place over millions of years. This process of decay almost completes the circle of life. From there only one thing remains, combusting the methane. How does that work? Well, methane combusts in the presence of oxygen and heat to produce this chemical reaction. That chemical reaction produces about 53 and a half megajoules of energy per kilogram of methane. That's almost four times more energy per pound than wood and about two to three times more energy per pound than coal, and with none of the pollutants and carcinogens that burning wood and coal creates. But wait, there's more. What many people don't know is that in addition to huge amounts of reliable clean energy, the complete combustion of methane produces two other awesome things. The first is carbon dioxide, which plants need to grow and survive. The second is water, which plants also need to grow and survive. With that CO2 and H2O now restored to the earth, the process of photosynthesis can begin again and the entire cycle can be repeated. I hope you liked what you saw. I'd appreciate any comments or thoughts you have in the, in the comments section down below. And if you like, share it with your friends. Let's get a discussion going. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.